days, three ways. And today we are going to talk all things cutoffs. Oh yeah, it's coming. That season is coming when it's time to expose those legs that have not seen the light of day in many, many, many months. It's a quest. It's a journey. We're going to find the best cutoffs for you. I've got three different silhouettes from three different brands. All fit a little bit different, but they're all equally fabulous. So we're going to run through them all, but we're going to start with hands down to the cutoff queen. Guys, 18 years at every, this is the single best selling short we have ever had. It is the A. Goldie Parker cutoff. It is a bestseller for a darn good reason. I call it the magical cutoff, and here's why. It is not too tight in the leg. It's short, but not too short. It's washed down and comfortable. You can actually wear your normal size. It feels relaxed enough that you don't feel squeezed in like a sausage, but shaped enough that it's incredibly flattering. If that isn't enough reason for you, just trust the thousands and thousands and thousands of women who have come before you to buy this short. I absolutely adore it. It is in this awesome swap meat wash, which just looks cool and vintage and comfy and yummy. I paired it back to this adorable short sleeve sweatshirt from Sundry in this great neutral camo print. How fun is this? You know that we are digging on short sleeve sweatshirts for this time of year. And then of course, pop down my Freedom Moses in silver because is there any better slide out there? This is running around. This is kicking back. This is quintessential summer moment encapsulated, grounded in this amazing short. Reminder as kind of a grounding, I am 5'4". I have very short legs, but you can see that even on me, guys, these are not super, super short or too, too long. They're really hitting me just above mid-thigh. Now, here is the deal. The Parker short now comes in a longer version. I'm going to switch into that guy really quick just so you can see what a little bit more length can give you and why we are loving that new style just as much. It's a little bonus, right? So here's the normal length. and I'm going to pop on that longer length. One second. Here we go. Okay, same look, different length. You can see I gained almost two inches in length on this puppy. Same fit. So it's going to fit exactly the same through here. Equally relaxed. I'm still wearing my true size, but I'm just getting a little bit more length in the leg. I still love it with this cute little short sleeve sweatshirt. I also think it would be great with just a little tank. So easy to wear. I don't know, guys. It's a hard choice. You might need both. One for those days when you're just feeling leg confident, leg strong, and you just want to rock and roll. And then the second pair for something new and fresh, or just those days when you want a little bit more coverage in your leg. This longer length is so right now and so fun, but I love that shorter length as well. Oh, who's to choose? I think you need both. Okay, we've got another awesome short coming up. This one from Cut. Cutoff number two. Now, this is the Jane from Cut. Cut's cut off. Why do we love this? Now, you might remember the Gidget. We have had that amazing cutoff in our assortment for a few years running. This is a new iteration of a fabulous cutoff from Cut that has just a little bit more leg -like opening. So I think this is really actually quite comparable to the A. Goldie Parker but as per usual, check it out gang, it is half the price, 69 bucks for this amazing cutoff. I love this darker wash. I think the leg opening is so yummy, so easy. Same idea, doesn't pinch the leg. I wore this in my stories last week and here's just a little reminder. Here's what I find to be true about cut cutoffs. I wear my normal size in full length denim from cut, I size down. In cutoffs and in white denim, I wear my normal size. So normal size in these, just to give myself a little bit of room in the waist and the backside, feels really, really good. You're gonna get a little bit of stretch like you always do, but not so much they're gonna feel super, super baggy. Now I paired it back to kind of a fun little mix. I love sweater short season. It always lasts for just a little bit of time in the late spring and in the early fall. So I'm rocking it right now. This is the 525 Brook 
Cardi. This is exclusive to every, which is so fun. Can't get it anywhere else. It comes in this yummy cream as well as a fabulous coral. Little bit of volume on the sleeve, but I love that you get this great ribbing here so it kind of holds its shape up. It is not too low. You can't just wear it as a top. Of course, you could also wear it just open with a great little graphic tee underneath would be fabulous. And it's not so short that I can't wear it with just a regular mid-rise cut off. Now I paired it back to the shoe that you know that I am absolutely obsessed with. Comes in this great little neutral as well as in black. It just makes your legs feel about a million miles long. And then pop down a few little glints of accessories. So Sadie bracelets, this great little silver and gold ring stack, and then these hammered hoops, which I think are so fun, and then finish it off with a delicate necklace. Now I've got one more, that's that lightning bolt necklace, which I just put it on two weeks ago and I just now I just never take it off because I love it so much. So this would be fabulous, of course, with a pair of full-length jeans, but I love the idea of popping on a pair of shorts. So we've gone through the Parker. Two lengths, right? The shorter length, which is really comparable to the Jane, as well as that new longer length. We've got the Jane from Cut, which is a more relaxed version of the Gidget that you know and love from last year. We've got one more version. This one is brand new, kind of a fun dare. It's going to be our longest length yet, and that is that Bermuda from AG. Hold tight. We'll show you what that one looks like. Okay, last look. This one's a little bit of a dare, but it's so fun and so new. I wanted to walk you through the tips I have picked up on the cutoff Bermuda short. Now here's the deal. I think we think, okay, more length, great, done, so easy. I want more coverage on these gams for summer. I hear ya. I think with the Bermuda, it just takes a little bit more finessing when it comes to styling and fit. So tip number one, I popped on this AG Nikki. I went up a size. I know they are going to stretch, but I think the absolutely critical piece of wearing a Bermuda cutoff is making sure they're not too tight. They should feel a little bit relaxed, a little bit cool. I even dare say a bit beachy and casual. Now, here's the other note that I thought a lot about when I put together my first look for you with these, is that I don't want it to look too young, right? This is not a young girl's game, right? We can play this too, but we need to be conscious about how we're styling it. So I'm less excited about wearing these with a graphic tee, to be perfectly honest, and I'd rather wear it with something a little bit more cleaned up, like a fabulous button down or a great little tee with some interest in it or a short sleeve sweatshirt. I think those pieces make it feel modern, forward, and age appropriate, but still chic and cool, which... I'm always looking for. I was thinking today, like, how do we make these approachable, aspirational, and wearable? I think we figured it out. So, up a size so that I have room in my tush, room in the legs, so there's just a little bit of give here. Now, you can see on me, they're hitting just above my knee. On some with a little bit longer legs, they're going to be even a little higher still. But again, I love that they're not squeezing tight. Now, I paired it back to a button down, and here's why. I like the kind of play on coverage here, but still getting some arm exposure. I think that's really important with the longer short, show a little bit of skin. So I just rolled up the sleeves on this sanctuary button down. Now this guy runs generous. I went down a size. Absolutely, absolutely, you're going to need to. It is a more of a boyfriend fit, but even in that boyfriend fit, you can see how much room I have. Now I thought, oh, let's like take some accessories and turn it up just a notch so it feels intentional and not too thrown on. So kept on my lightning bolt necklace and then layered on this great little paper clip chain, which has two strands on it. So now I've got a little triple situation going on here, but only two necklaces, so it's super easy. I lost the bracelet so I didn't feel overstyled, but kept on that ring to pick up a little bit of glint. And then I kept on those nude sandals. Again, leg lengthening tip. I kind of am digging this, gang. I love it. Now, I think this would be so fun, of course. I'm seeing bonfire nights. I'm seeing long summer days ahead. And I absolutely think you can wear this with something more casual. I just really want you to try it with just a smidge more elevation to feel really comfortable and just rock this like nobody's business. 
Okay, there we go. Three different, we're really three and a half because I did a little cheater in there. Three different cutoffs. We've got our Parker in two lengths. We've got our Cut Jane and we've got this great AG Nikki. I don't know which one I like the best. I'm guessing they're all going to be staying right here in this closet with me because it's absolutely what I'm going to be living in all summer long. Can it get here already? I can hardly wait. Okay, hope everyone has an awesome, awesome weekend and we will catch you soon. Get some cutoffs. Everybody needs them. And I promise you, we've got the one for you. See you soon, soon.